folk still talk about you taking down that troll in the village service? This must be Aronshire. I'd best keep an eye out for spiders. Glacius! Defender! Defender! Descender! Protego! Stupid! Accio! Defulsa! Even more aggressive than I'd expected. Arrest their momentum. Descend them. Default. Accio. Not sure how it fare in a little place like this. Glacius. Defend them. Confringo. Defend them. Descend them. Protego. Stupid one. Levioso. Expelliarmus! Glacius! Defendo! Rependo! Descendo! Devolso! Accio! Rebellion! Surely that's the last of them. Revelio. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Revelio. Alohomora. I 
have some promising news about the location of our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her you-know-what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. Oh no, this must be Mary. Poor woman. If Mary was breeding these things in her cellar, that means there are more underground. I'll need to destroy every last spider in that cellar if this is to end. Revelio. Mine now, Demi guys. Revelio. Capulso. Revelio. Revelio. If this is where Mary bred the spiders, they're not here now. This isn't a good sign. These spiders have gone somewhere. Revelio. A ladder. Not sure I want to know where this leads. I'd best be ready for whatever I may find down there. before the situation gets even worse. That's one exact destroyed. I should get the rest. Oh, 
finished, but I need to destroy all of the egg sacs. I suppose I know what happened to Mary Portman now. She was breeding the spiders. Revelio. These eggs must be destroyed. Revelio. Glacius. Confringo. Defender. see me, but I don't see them. Revelio. You're a deadly... Revelio. Revelio. 
Revelio. Oh, wait. That's the last one. And she's angry. Revelio. Hogsmead, here I come. Mr. Dunn, I have some news. Thank Merlin, about my sweet friend Mary. It seems poor Mary was breeding spiders in her home for profit, and vastly underestimated their propensity to multiply. Oh, Mary, what untoward scheme were you involved in? If she needed financial assistance, she could have just come to me. She didn't deserve this. Few do. I am sorry about your friend, but you'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? I can't believe it, but I'm certainly relieved. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the Amulet rebuild. I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. That's the spirit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you again for all you've done. I shall keep you apprised of the Hamlet's rebuilding. Glad I could be of help, and I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aronshire. To dearly departed Mary.
It's not like her to forget. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. What was she sending you? Only some feed she's been developing. I was going to give it to Professor Howen for the measles. What kind of research is she doing? It varies from week to week, but it's always to do with creatures. Last week she was studying leg knots in plimpies. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realised that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. How do you track a dragon long after she's gone? Tree canopies, burn marks, things like that. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right. I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. I don't suppose you've thought about keeping it, have you? No. It belongs to her. Keeping it will make me just as bad as the poachers. If you're right about finding her here, how do we go about returning the egg? Her nest will likely be in the heart of her den, which she will be keeping guard over. It might also be more charred than anywhere else, I imagine. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready with- Revelio.
There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Revelio. Good. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. For what it's worth, she doesn't seem to have spotted us yet. Let's hope it stays that way. At least until we the Bender! The Sender! Capulza! Glacius! brought to capture at least 10 usually rebellion Eyesight is. I beg your pardon. I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebridean's lover. How lucky for us. Watch your step. Pity. She must have been starved to pick off a grab horn. Or just raring for a fight. I'll run ahead. I'll keep my attention. Follow when it's safe. Watch out! It's her domain. She'll make sure we know it. Keep at it. We've just got to make it to the next. Oh, she isn't making it easy. Not a warm welcome. It's a little too warm, if you ask me. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I'd normally try, but we're well past that. Why is every bridge here broken? Reparo. No. 
Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. unharmed creatures are a lot cleverer than most people realize that's what gran always says the important thing is that we survived it and we returned her egg thank you for doing this with me wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again shall we head back i'm ready if you are I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? Revelio. Come now, don't be stingy. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Pardon me? My Hello. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Satarissa Tugwood, and I have an exciting business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But I only want to help the less fortunate. That's incredibly nice of you. Oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But I've run out of the key ingredient, boobatuba pus. Boobatubas do grow in the forbidden forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. What precisely are boobatubas? Disgusting things, really. Covered in protrusions. One needs to squeeze them to collect the pus. They smell simply awful and seem to move on their own. Ugh, I wouldn't go near the things if it weren't for my devotion to my classmates. How on earth did you discover that a tuba pus clears one's skin? One cannot rely on spells for all appearance enhancements. The errant cast, for example, could relocate one's eyebrows entirely rather than merely thinning them. My darling and now perpetually surprised-looking neighbour discovered that on her own. Poor thing. I am convinced that beauty potions are the future. I'm forever looking for ways to make this world a more beautiful place. 
I suspected that if pure booba chuba pus could cause boils, an altered form would likely reverse such abominations. And I was correct. I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvellous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few booba chubas, but they grow wild, so you'll have to look around. Our spotty classmates are counting on you, so you mustn't tarry. Into the forbidden forest for booba tubers. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. Fire and elves not half as dumb as it sounds. Revelio. Imperio. Uh, I am. Come out, Ripple. You got that sap running through you. Your man. Descendo. Akio. Confringo! Glaciers! You're a slippery little bit. Expelliarmus! A castle? Revelio! Revelio. This is where Sakurissa said to go. Oh, where are those booba tubers? No! Uh. Confringo! There's talk of what you can do. I Confringo! Uh. Oh, that smells awful. Only four more, thank goodness. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. 
just my luck, a troll. Should do it. I'd better get back to Zacharissa now. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? <laughs> Sakarissa, I found the boot with tubers you needed. Splendid. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. May I have them? Of course. Happy to have found them for you. Thank you. And your payment, of course. Now I can begin perfecting my potion to save our poor pimply peers. Don't know who should be more grateful, I or our unsightly spotty classmates. One day the Wizarding World will know my name, and you will have been a small part of it. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Revelio. Wish I could have studied here. Then. Revelio. Hello there. Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. 
Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw at meet? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me, being self-taught and all. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Revelio. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. A friend who speaks gobbledygook is meeting us. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here? Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Urtgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect goblin kind to get the helmet back? Seems he has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. Damn Bragbor and his blasted journals. Bragbor? An ancestor of Ranrock's, renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbor's journals. They describe repositories that Bragbor had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacard, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard kind. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Armit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. Oh, Bagalio. Enough. Please do not tell me that was meant to be gobbledygook. I, am um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. I barely recognize that as language. 
I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it? I can, Sir Lodgok. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. What else should we know about the enchanted door? The door will not open while the eye can see you. You and your friend must be invisible to it to gain access. From what I know of wizard magic, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. Revelio. door is looking at us. Yes, of course. So rarely prepare one for reality. A real goblin mine. It's even grander than I had expected. Rebellion. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Confringo! Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Rebellion. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. I've read about mines like this. Akio, see one is something else altogether. Revelio. You'll need to stay close to me. I've dealt with worse enemies than this. Descender! Defender! Arrest the Ouch! Expelliarmus! Imperial! Just through here safely, I'll meet. You have my word. You're being watched by a door. Rebellion. Confringo. Rebellion. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. Bound to be a schematic. They're building something. I can't quite make it out. Curious. There must be more notes around here. What Rebellion. building?
Glaciers. Black Ranger, fight! Propendo, descendo. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written Rebellion. in goblin hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Rebellion. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? I will get to the bottom of what they've been building. Rebellion. Descender. Defender. Imperial. Another schematic. What are they going to build? This mine is too small for whatever it is. Rebellion. Rebellion. Devil Snare. Not an entanglement we need right now. Lou 
Reavers. Revelio. Renrock's vision of goblins ruling over wizards will be fulfilled. Clever. Revelio. seen doing. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Lodgott what we found. Revelio. There must be a quicker way out of here than retracing our steps.
Revelio. Rebellion. Can we please talk about what just... That wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. Thank you, Amit. I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lodgok. Understood. I'll leave you to it. Your goblin secrets are safe with me. But I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, you. They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch, and I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't 
want to believe it. But I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gok, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Revelio. I hope Professor... I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spin Witches as soon as you can. Let's see what's up his sleeve this time, Merlin. Rebellion! Oh. Rebellion! Revelio. That fire whiskey over here. Yeah. Arresto momentum. Do cooperate, won't you? There, there. I'm not going to hurt you.
These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Revelio. Arrest the momentum. Off on another adventure of Mr. Pickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. <sighs> Rebellion. Arresto momentum. Flipendo. Revelio. Revelio. Try when I see one. Rebellion. What are you up to now? Revelio. The Forbidden Forest. Is it time to get yourself killed? Do you have any clue what kind of thing is it? Revelio. If someone gets struck by a cursed broom, we do hope it's you. Flipendo, the pulsar. 
Revelio. Hello, Hamora. The Bolsa! Akio! Levioso! Rebellion. Resource indeed, your field. Guide. Hello, Homora. I'm most pleased. Paisy has a special rebellion. Tormenting Professor Black. Rebellion. Venite. Rebellion. Rebellion. Lumos. Rebellion. Compulsor. Rebellion.
Revelio. Depulsa. Accio. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Revelio. Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then.
Nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. Revelio. I should investigate. Arrest that moment. Arrest over momentum. Assignment's all finished. Revelio. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Revelio. I've had enough of felt. It's all about having a keen eye. Take me, for instance. My eyes as keen as a nickel on a pile of gold or a nogtail to a sow. Huh? No, I'm not bragging. That's just the truth, eh? Well, this now can I? Revelio. Confringo! <laughs> Revelio! Someone messing about. Uh. Oh. 
Did you? <laughs> Revelio. Oh, you are. You must fire with. A tripping us, Tuck Hallett! Glacius. Rebendo. That solves that. Rebellion. Who lived here, I wonder? You're easier to spot than in a rock. Revelio. Repender. Ascender. Repelion. Now you're just getting on. Defender. Revelio. Revelio.
excellent work today. Class dismissed. Ugh. Can't say I'm terribly fond. I take it you're. I completed your assignment, Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. Is this something we should be learning in school? Better for you to learn it in school, where we can instruct you properly as to its use. Hmm? Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Well done. Now, let us put it into practice, shall we? Go ahead and try it on the pumpkins. Bombarda! Excellent wand work. Cast the spell just like that every time. Assured and in control.
Oh, good, you're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she all right? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed, so they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets. Gran wants me to stay out of it, but I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon, but the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're a genius! The centaurs, they'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan.
I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. Wingardium Leviosa.
think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts, but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts, that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged Master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself, before Tobbs found him. What a horrible tale, Deke. I'm so sorry. Deke has only told Professor Weasley that story, and now yourself. Deke often wonders what became of that phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Doesn't mean I'm obliged to agree. I should say a bin. Ah.
Revelio. Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. All right, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I've actually met Scrope, but I'm not sure he'll tell me. He's rather devoted to the Black family. He is, so you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing, a polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? and take ages to brew. It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. How do you feel? Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Professor, a moment. Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp, places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I, well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I assure you, Sharp... You may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils.
Now, to determine which student gets this rather... When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Uh, I simply mourn for the future of the wizarding world. If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. I've heard the headmaster approaching. <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. Professor Black. How are you, sir? Mr. Gaunt! Where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes! Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Has anyone seen my... Something is very wrong with Professor. Professor, a word? Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. I should think you'd have better things to do with your time. <clears throat> now, where's my elf? I... Good day, Professor. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? Hope it's not about anything I've been doing. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Nonverbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something seems a little off with the headmaster. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Professor, I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. 
Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumours of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness! You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Hard a worker as any house elf. Ahem! Attention, students! I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the stunning banners of Slytherin. I shall be taking no questions at this time. Or ever. Scroop! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh. But Master made Scrub swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. And now I'm telling you that you can tell me. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course, I, uh... Master does remember it. But certainly I remember. It's still stronger together, no? <laughs> Master has made Scrope laugh. <laughs> it's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah! Yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. <laughs> oh, very well. Uh, toujours pure. Uh, there is another matter, Scrope. I confiscated this filthy diary from a student. It smells of squid and seawater. Oh, Apollonia's diary. <clears throat> that is quite a surprise, Master. What do you wish Scrope to do with this treasure? Uh, uh, rubbish. Whatever you wish, Scrope. It's your treasure. Now, off with you. Uh. The Polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Revelio. Alohomora. Rebellion. 
Rebellion. Rebellion. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Lumos. Revelio. Toujours pure. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Revelio. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Revelio! That must be the pedestal. Where am I? 
Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. somewhere. I need to time this just right. See, a staircase straight ahead. to find me if I go up there. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Nothing this way, but no danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. That doorway 
looks like the only safe way forward. my chance. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Defender. 
Defender. Bombarda.
must be for me. Through the mourners ahead, nothing is what it seems. She's gone. Leave. Oh, poor Neve. Gone so young. <laughs> Neve. May her memory be a treasure to us forever. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival! And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Oh, Neev, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed 
Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power, and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other Keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald. Without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. <laughs>